Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So just the other day, a brand new version of Gold Hen came out, which is Gold Hen 2.2.5B8. What I thought I would do in this video today is to take a look at a couple of the new features and explore them live here with you. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so if you want the beta, one site that I prefer to use is Echo Stretch's ES7N1 dot site. So you can obviously head over to his site. And in this example, I'm just using the Echo Stretch 9.00 Gold Hen Host. Now, I did create a USB drive for obviously the exploit so hopefully you've already got one of those created as well and then once you go to his site and you perform the jailbreak then you will be exactly where i'm at right now okay so we will head over to settings and then go to gold hen and then if we go to about in about gold hen sometimes and it doesn't look like this is the case but sometimes that information has been added to the change log about what was added in this release, I am aware that there is a new scan line feature as well as a game debug option. So we'll just go ahead and we will take a look at that. So we're going to begin by going up to game overlay. And obviously there is an FPS counter which was added not too long ago. And I already have that turned on by default. And then there is another one right here that is just called enable scan lines. So enable scan lines is going to kind of give you that old school retro kind of vibe that you may have had when you played some older base games. Now, one thing that I will say is that I've seen a number of people asking, you know, is this only for retro games? And the answer to that is it's absolutely not meaning that I can pick one of these PlayStation 4 games and I'll go into it and it would work just perfectly fine. So let me get this loaded up and we'll take a look at that feature. Okay, and so you may not be able to see it too well, but there are scan lines that are being shown here. So let's go ahead and let's go back to our settings and we'll go to Gold Hen, Game Overlay, and let's turn that up to level 5. So once we do that, we will return back into the game. And here you can kind of start to see them a lot better than what you may have been able to have seen just a moment ago. Again, if I press the Options button here, this shows definitely the scan lines are in action. Again, I could come back over to this and we can go back into Gold Hen, Game Overlay, and then we will just turn that back off. And if we go into our game, there it goes. It should show that everything is back to normal with that. Now, again, there is a number of other games that you may want to relive kind of that experience, maybe even the original or the God of War 2 game, which we'll give that one a shot now. And so we'll just jump over into the game overlay. We'll turn on the scan lines again, and we will leave that at five. Okay, so that should give you a bit of a sample of that feature and what that feature currently looks like. Let's go ahead and let's explore another feature. So we'll go ahead and we'll go back to settings. And this time we're going to go back up to gold hand again. And there where it says debug settings, what I'm going to do is I am going to put a check right here in enable game debug settings. Okay, and now let's go to a PlayStation 4 game, for example. So we'll go to... Sifu and we'll go down to the bottom here and now when you press on save data management it basically takes you over to this screen right here no matter which game that you select so obviously you can come in here and you can manage some of your save data which is already in your system storage now the other thing that I think most people will enjoy about this 
is, is that there is the ability now that you could come in here and if you've got maybe a patch that you want to uninstall, you could simply take that check mark off and you could get rid of the patch. The same with the add continued, extra data, the temp data, and then even the download data. So you have a few more options that you could delete. Now let's come into this and let's go to information. And so this one does have a patch associated with it, which puts it on version 1.06. So let's go ahead and let's give this a shot. I'm going to leave all of these on as default and press the delete key and then OK. And once this finishes up, we should be back on version number 1.00 and we are. So we went from 1.06 to 1.00. And I could go ahead and I can launch this game right here and the 1.00 version of the game would load. And so that's really the two main features that was in this beta version of Gold Hen. I am really impressed to see what Gold Hen is turning into, you know, from obviously debug settings right here to now having this ability to, you know, enable the game debug settings. There's obviously the enable debug settings if you wanted to turn that on. The cheat system is just getting better. There's now a title ID, which tells us which title in the app version that the game is running on. We've got some game overlays now with an FPS counter and now scan lines for those that are interested in that. Some server settings for obviously FTP and for the bin loader and then a K log settings that is typically more useful for developers. Anyway, another great gold hand release. Thank you, Sistro, Chameleon, and team for bringing this out to us. Uh, hopefully, you all get to enjoy this as well. I'll see you in the next one. Michael, out!